transalytical task flows. And just make sure that you're on the latest version and then go to settings and then transalytical task flows is all the way there at the bottom. Turn it on. Now in Power BI service, you need to go to the admin portal and toggle on user data function, as well as over here, SQL database. Over here, I'm gonna go to workspaces, click on new workspace, and let's give this a nice name. This is my YouTube demo. It starts with creating an SQL database in Fabric. We click here on new item, and then over here we have SQL database, and this is going to be my demo database. Let's click on sample data. So we have our sales database set up. Nice. Now in our workspace, we're going to click again on new item and then scroll all the way down. There we find user data functions. Preview. Let's call this one right back new function. Before we're going to copy over that code from the documentation, we first need to click on manage connections. We need to set up the connection to that SQL database from before. And this year we're going to replace with that demo code. There was one more thing that we needed to do, and that is click on share, because we want to make sure that people that are interacting with a report can later also use it. Create a Power BI report, connect to the SQL database, easy. Then we're going to import description model and model product description. And what is important, we have to go for direct query mode if we directly want to reflect the changes that we make. And we're going to build a simple table where we take name from product model and model ID from the model product description. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do is insert a new slicer. Title, put that as the title. Click on insert, buttons, blank button, then go over here to action, turn it on, and you see there's a new type, data function. Now here you see we have the type data function workspace is going to be my YouTube demo workspace function set right back and the function itself write one to SQL DB. So here product description, write a new product description. Then product model ID, there we have to click on FX, field value. Then from here we want to have the product model ID and summarization, just the maximum, the one that the user later on will click on. Insert a new table, we have the modified data as well. Let's publish the report and let's see if everything works in Power BI service as an end user. So now the moment of truth, enter some text. So transmitical task flows are awesome. All right, now we put that in our slicer, yes. Then I click that arrow and we want to have it over here for this model ID. Click on submit. Okay, we have the loading icon. There it is. <sighs> Translytical task flows are awesome. 